Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Shinu and I have a confession to make. I have more audio gears than video equipments. One of the reasons for that could be because I'm a musician and if I try to count it from the top of my head, I think I have somewhere around five microphones and one audio interface. But the audio file in me keeps asking for more. So here is another audio equipment, the Zoom H1N. This is something that I can't recommend more. If you are a content creator, this is a must for you. And why do you need this? Let me quickly unbox and we'll talk about it in detail. And along with this Zoom H1, I've got a wind muff uh, and another wind muff. I don't know. Like, I think this is this is to reject all the plosives and this is to uh, protect you from the wind. We'll put them to test today and we'll see how good they really are. So I've got the Rode mic mounted on my camera and it's roughly around one foot away from me. And this is the quality that you get. But the moment I'm going to move back, and let me try moving a little more back. So if I, if I try to move back and I'm here, and how does it sound? And this is not very practical. The closer that I get, the better I will sound. The farther I go, the less will it capture the sound for you. Whereas if I have something like this, the Zoom H1N, all I need to do is record and I can carry it anywhere with me. Okay, the audio that you're listening to right now is coming from the Zoom H1N and I'm just trying to move my fingers very gently so that it doesn't capture a lot of handling noise. Can you hear some handling noise? The best way to use this microphone would be to keep it on a tripod, which I'm not doing it right now, but I'll do it in the future days. Okay, talking about the Zoom H1N, the things that you can get here is you can change the audio format using this button. There is a low cut pass, a limiter and auto level which I would recommend to switch off. This is a record button. You have the option to stop, play, backward and forward. Here you can put the SD card. That's the delete button. This is the switch on and off and finally you can transfer your files to the computer directly from here. Over here, you have the volume rocker, up and down, you have a line out. This side you have a line in, where you can put the 3.5 mm lapel mic. The audio quality that I'm recording in is at 48K, 24 bit. And I've mounted it on a tripod now, so it is it is approximately a foot away from me and I think the road mic is also almost a foot away from me. So how does it sound? Does it make any difference? What do you like? Do you like the shotgun microphone mounted on the camera or do you like an audio recorder like a Zoom H1N? I understand that using Zoom H1N can give me the benefit of moving around and still recording my audio. The same thing can also be done using a wireless microphone. Then why didn't I buy a wireless microphone? Well to answer that, I feel sound is a very subjective thing. I personally don't like the sound that I get from the wireless microphone whereas a recorder is going to give you a very high quality recording. So that was my reason to buy a Zoom H1N. Also I'm sitting in a noisy environment for a purpose. I have a fan going on, I have moving traffic on the road and this is, this is a room that is not treated. So I just wanted to test out that how do you sound using a shotgun microphone or using a Zoom H1N recorder in a noisy environment. All right, let's talk about the pricing then. I bought this Zoom H1N online and it costed me somewhere around 8,000 rupees. All right, so this audio that I'm recording is using the Zoom H1N and I have not put the uh, put this dead cat or the windshield on it. How does it sound now? And the best part, as I told previously, the best part about this kind of a, of a setting is that I can hold it, I can walk around, I can move freely and I can still record myself. So I put the windshield on the Zoom H1N and it's recording, I think it's recording pretty decently. And uh, the wind is still blowing, the condition is still windy. Uh, you can see, 
And if I keep quiet for a while, you can hear how, what all sound is it capturing. And if I remove the windshield, we'll see how it captures the sound now. I'm still able to access the volume controller, which is set at seven. I can put the line in and the line out. So yeah, everything is accessible even if I put the wind muff on. I think for a content creator, this is one of the most important investment that you can do for your audio. And why do I say that? Because this is the kind of an audio recorder or, a, or an audio equipment that, that you can use if you are a vlogger. Okay, now you can see how, how noisy condition it is. I don't know how, uh, how well you were able to hear me. But anyway, so this kind of an audio recorder is a must for, for people who are content creators. Even if you are a vlogger, or somebody who sit inside your room and record yourself. This is something that you should have with you. The only challenge would be you would need a laptop to edit your videos because you will have to merge your video and audio separately. But for me, I think this is a very good solution. Wind is again blowing. Let me know how well are you able to hear me. All right, so final thoughts about Zoom H1n. I think this is a pretty decent and very handy recorder. Uh, it's not very expensive uh, and this can really, really enhance your content creation. If you are a content creator and if you need audio in your videos, this can really solve most of your problems. So I think you can give it a shot. Let me know in the comment section below any other audio equipment that you want me to review and I will see you in the next one.